How's it going, everyone? Spencer Israel here with Nick Donato from our Benzinga News Desk here in our downtown Detroit newsroom. Nick, you and I are both uh, big NFL fans. The yes. season is nearly upon us, uh, about a week uh, from now at the time we're filming this. So we want, thought we'd do a, vi a video about the implications uh, in the market uh, that the NFL could potentially have. So at a high level, why don't you break down what the biggest storyline people will be watching. So in 2016, we had the lowest NFL ratings since 2008, and it's projected to decline again this year. You know, some of the reasons why are the Colin Kaepernick anthem protests. Uh, you also see uh, domestic abuse, kind of people are shying away from watching because of those issues, as well as CTE. Obviously, those are big macro issues that the NFL is facing, and uh, reasons why people are just not viewing as much anymore today. As far as uh, who this lack of viewership could potentially impact, I'll break it down for you real quickly. So there's five main players uh, in the NFL broadcasting space at the moment. Uh, we got ESPN, who is of course owned by Disney, mm -hmm. there's Fox, CBS, NBC, which is owned by uh, Comcast, and DirecTV, which is owned by uh, AT&T. So those are, those are the five main players. They're all paying between one and two uh, billion dollars uh, <clears throat> per year. ESPN actually pays the most. They pay 1.9 yeah. billion dollars for Monday Night Football. Uh, so obviously these are all large companies, very diverse. The NFL, uh, lack of viewership and then lack of advertising from it uh, will not impact their bottom lines in a huge way, but we yeah. know how Wall Street loves to react to headlines. And this is this is going to be a headline that we will see uh, really from now through through January. Yeah, it's affect the long-term thesis. Right. Obviously going forward. Right. These are these are large investments that these companies have made, uh, paying for the right to broadcast the NFL. Uh, so lack of viewership could potentially be a headwind uh, going forward. And also in the long term, like you said, Nick, uh, Amazon just this year is paying $50 million yep. uh, for the right to broadcast some Thursday night football games. And uh, so we'll see. That's a scary, it's a scary beast coming and dipping its toe into the NFL broadcast. It is, it is. So we'll see when these deals expire in 2021. We'll see uh, whether Amazon, Netflix, Apple, Facebook, whether they hop in to uh, to the fray with, with the network. So Nick, what what's another implication that the NFL could have on, on stock? So, a little bit anecdotal here. Sure. I'm having my fantasy football draft tonight, and the, the retail chain that is long dominated has been Buffalo Wild Wings. Sure. Obviously, they benefit hugely from the NFL, and it's kind of not remembered a lot of times when you look at their Q3 report. Um, so last year, the COO, James Smith, said the NFL was not serving as a crucial sales driver that it could be. Uh, they actually reported uh, comparable source sales were down 1.6% in Q3 year over year. Obviously, they're getting an effect from it, and it's something that, you know, this decline has been going on for a while. In 2015, BI mentioned in an article that, you know, just because the season, the NFL season shifted one week, they met, they incurred about 100 basis points uh, decline in their gross margin. So if something like simple, like just a calendar shift happens, you wonder when like all these larger, you know, really more important issues with CTE, domestic abuse, how those will impact the NFL and viewership going down the road. Obviously you can tell people aren't going as much to Buffalo Wild Wings. You wonder how that will affect them in the future with uh, more controversy surrounding the NFL. This is a story that we'll be watching uh, going yeah. forward. You should keep an eye on your Benzinger Pro to keep watching it, as well as for Benzinger's real-time news service where all of our breaking news headlines are every day. Don't forget to also watch any video that we've done on our Benzinger YouTube channel, youtube.com slash TV is the URL for that. He is Nick Donato. I'm Spencer Israel. Have a good one.